this episode of Wrecked. Their towing skills to the test and recover a car that's stuck in a house. Oh, wait, something just straight broke. Bill and Joey travel to the largest tow show in the world. Yeah, this is 75 tons, and mine's only a 60 ton. While the O'Hare team puts itself in harm's way to get the job done. You dropped this truck on my head, you know, I'm gonna get really mad. And it's making it or break it as Joey attempts to pass the toughest test in all of towing. Man, is that nerve-wracking when you have rather very highly qualified operators to tell you if you're right or wrong. Chicago has more than 20,000 miles of highway full of breakdowns, spills, and wrecks. It's a dangerous mess, and somebody's got to clean it up. Bill runs O'Hare Towing with his wife, Marcy, his brother, Joey, a fleet of high-tech trucks, team of dedicated drivers who risk their lives every day, ready to respond at a moment's notice to the next. <laughs> O'Hare Towing is constantly faced with unique challenges. You gotta go out more than do anything else, Joe. Their ability to stay cool under pressure only comes from years of experience and a whole lot of practice. Bill and his team regularly run training exercises to stay on top of their game. Today, Joey and Bill are part of a training exercise that has a car stuck in the front of the house. Looks like a car into an abandoned house will be out checking for injury. Everything that happens on this exercise is just as it would be on a real tow, from the plan to the execution. Could you imagine being sitting there eating dinner? Even though this is just training, there's still real risk involved. If you got a low bearing wall, man, there is a hazard to the house because the integrity of the stability of the house is lost with the car through the front building. This scenario begins with the fire department having to remove an actor posing as a victim. They're still getting somebody out. Many times, O'Hare's crew must wait for the victims to be extricated from wrecked vehicles. Operators can use this time to develop a game plan for the recovery. Well, we'll back up over here and just kind of pull it out. Once we clear the step, pull it down, and we'll just load up on a flatbed and go. Hey. <laughs> okay, guys, it's all yours. Thank you. With the fire department out of the way, Joey and Bill go in to get a closer look at the car. You want to sling it through the rims or you want to go around the rear bumper supports of the subframe? We're just going to pull the car backwards and try to get it turned up around the cement and flop it out in the front yard here. Um, as long as the fuel tank doesn't start leaking, it shouldn't be a problem. They like to use truck 903 for a job like this. But at nearly 12 feet tall, 903 is too big to use beneath these low-hanging power lines. This power line deal, we, we won't be able to get a bigger truck in, so we'll have to use like a littler truck. Instead, they opt to use truck 607. At only 10 feet tall and 22 feet long, truck 607 will provide enough clearance to safely work under the power lines. He's got the fire hose ready, just in case something sparks. But I gotta start slinging some chain here. We used a couple of 3 8 alloy chains around the rear bumper supports because I think the uh, suspension's bent up real bad and I don't think it'll hold. Normally we would try to open the doors to put a strap through the car, but being that it's pinned inside the house, right now it's more of a get it where you can kind of thing. Are you ready, Joe? With the chains around the bumper supports, Bill and Joey begin to slowly winch the car out of the house. Something just straight broke. That ain't gonna work. Yeah. The unit frame on this car we were trying to pull on just straight up popped out. Now we're going the strongest part of a unibody car, the rims. 
With the chains now repositioned through the rims, Joey and Bill give it another try. You ready? Oh yeah. She's coming. Keep coming, girl. But it's not long before they see another problem. Let me put a block of wood under there, get something away from that gas tank, right? You know, it'll keep the uh, gas tank off of the cement so, so we don't have, we don't rupture the tank pulling it off. Stick it in from the back so it rides the wood off. That's good. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're good. Oh, there goes the house. There it is. Oh my god, that wood is perfectly placed. I was worried about it being hung on the foundation or hung in part of the railing. Looks like it plowed most of that over, so um, it come out pretty nice. With the car safely on the ground, Joey and Bill can get it loaded on the flatbed. The training exercise is a success, and O'Hare has strengthened their relationship with a valuable ally, the fire department. We have a very good working relationship with O'Hare. Um, we've called them out several times to help us out with auto extrications, like uh, vehicles underneath tractor trailers and stuff like that. And uh, we work very well with O'Hare Towing. They're a very good company. Joey and Bill's relationship is already strong. There's not a lot we say. We just kind of look at each other. We know what we're thinking. It's like right now, I know, he's, I know what he's saying. He's saying, get to work. Yeah. So, if you don't have nothing to do, don't do it here, OK? See ya. Coming up. Hey, short pants, what are you doing? Bill and his team take a little field trip, but it's not all play for Joey. When I come back, I'll be the most certified operator in the state. And Strike and Tony must move quickly to rescue a trailer that's stuck in the mud. Every minute that leg sinks, the trailer can lean further and further. Hey, short pants, what are you doing? This morning, Joey, Angela, Bill, and Marcy are on the move. We are on our way to O'Hare Airport at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning here to fly off to Orlando to go to the tow truck show down in Florida. The International Tow Show held in Florida is the largest in the country and attracts tow truck drivers, owners, and enthusiasts from all over the world. We'll be in Florida in a couple hours enjoying 80 degrees. But right now it's a little chilly and we just got to get to the line here and we'll be ready to go. I'm pretty excited. But this trip won't be all fun. While there, Joey will take the Towing and Recovery Association of America's Level 3 test, the PhD of the tow truck world. When I come back in Florida on Monday, I'll be the most certified towing and recovery operator in the state. Even though Bill is 30,000 feet in the air, business doesn't just stop for O'Hare towing. We got a, uh, a tricky one for you. It's gonna be a trailer leading. I need you to assist with the wind show. It's gonna be at 44th and Ashland. Mike Trike Trikowski responds to a call about a fully loaded tractor trailer sinking into the ground. All right, let's go see what we got. The dolly leg on the right side is in the mud. Every minute that leg sinks, the trailer can lean further and further. Once it gets to a point, it'll want to go and carry itself the rest of the way. Estimate of the weight, I'm going to have to say we're over 35,000. Trike knows his truck isn't enough for this job, so he calls in some backup. Tony Monroe shows up with his heavy-duty wrecker with rotating boom to assist Trek. What's up, Big Horn? Hey, what's up? What we're going to do is we're going to utilize a two-truck pick. 
He's going to lift it, and I'm going to help him bring the front end over. The trickiness is, is normally when you're dealing with the booms, you'll have the trees and stuff around. This one's not going to be too bad. It's just setting up the truck because you still got to compensate for the ground. A truck can only lift as good as the ground it's on. The two drivers must work together to operate both the large boom arms in such a tight spot. You're going to double them? Are you going to double them for me? You're so fine. What we did by doubling up the cables, we've doubled our lifting capacity of the chain. Right around the king's bit. There you go. Pull it. Good. Good. We're going to lift this up, and she's going to scoop right over. Watch. Up on the green. Up on the green. All right, move it. Rotate it over. tractor up underneath it. It has a clear shot to get up underneath this thing. Tony and Trike managed to get the trailer back on solid ground, despite the close quarters and bad weather. Why do we live in Chicago? We've got too many repeated blows at a skull, and we consider this as a good day. Yeah. Angela, Bill, and Marcy have left Chicago and over towing for the week to take a trip to the International Tow Show in Florida. The show attracts representatives from the largest towing companies in the world, every major wrecker manufacturer, and even some people who just love big trucks. I cannot tell you how happy I am to be here a little early, Joe. And when a major towing company like O'Hare needs to buy new equipment, this is the first place they go. This is number 27 over the last thousand days. That's the beginning of the year, so all the, the latest and greatest and the biggest and baddest, that stuff is, uh, is out. Before the weekend's out, we'll be spending some money and figuring out what we're going to do. Soon after arriving, Joey finds himself in front of the biggest wrecker at the show. I hate to say it, yeah, this is 75 ton. And mine's only a 60 ton. I came out with this model just after they built mine. It's a sweet design, don't get me wrong. Good idea. You know, it's a it's all right. You don't have the cool outrigger, so. I don't know why they built this. Exception of making me think about it, which I am. Coming up. It looks like the intersection right here, you got enough room in the back here. Double up the winch line. Joey takes the most important test of his life. Man, is that nerve wracking. And then, an 18,000 pound semi gives the O'Hare crew trouble. You drop this truck on my head, you know, I'm gonna get really mad. At the Florida Tow Show in Orlando, Joey is about to take the test for his level three certification. When it comes to the towing certification, it's the closest thing we're gonna get to a PhD. Nationwide, it's it's how our peers judge us. Just choose the right answer, so No problem. <laughs> we're doing level three certification uh, from the Towing and Recovery Association of America. They have an 80-question written test, just scenarios that you walk through and you talk through, and then there's a oral uh, exam that uh, they give you two different recoveries, and you have to walk them through with detail, step-by-step um, yeah, step on how you recover, what kind of equipment you recover with. Okay, I'll read the scenario. On this recovery, you're responding to a Peterbilt tractor pulling a dump trailer with a gross weight of in excess of 100,000 pounds pulled into an intersection. Well, I'm gonna get 1060 rolling out there. Uh, rotator. It looks like the intersection right here, you got enough room in the back here. Double up the winch lines. Go up to the boom shift and get uh, 1060 off the back, which is the strongest point. Spread it out in case you got to rotate it. Man, is that nerve wracking. <laughs> it, it honestly tells you where, 
where you sit and stand when you, when you have other very highly qualified operators who tell you if you're right or wrong. Chain up the suspension and uh, go from the frame before the axle underneath the lift gate here with uh, 5 8 alloy. We'll get the job out, at least out of the roadway, and then fix the airline and see if the customer can't drive away. Any other questions? No questions. Do you have any questions, Randy? No, no questions. No. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Good job. Joey won't find out if he passes yeah. until next week. Back in Chicago, the O'Hare team has just arrived on the scene of an accident involving a car and a tractor trailer truck. The truck was traveling down the highway, sideswiped by the car. The force of the collision pulled the axle of the truck out of place, making it impossible to drive safely. The car was able to drive away from the scene, but the bent axle leaves the semi disabled on the side of the road. Jameson hooks his winch lines up to the truck's tow holds on the front bumper to support the 18,000-pound semi and keep it from completely collapsing. He's got an air ride front end, which means uh, they're rather fragile. There's a lot more pieces to it, and they're not all metal. If I hit the car, one of the bolts broke, shifted out his front axle. And I got to try to straighten the axle so I can tow it. In order to fix the axle, Jameson must get underneath the semi. A dangerous move since the axle could fall off at any moment. I gotta try to straighten this axle before I can tow it. It's being a little pain in the ass. Uh, Troy told me some things, I'm taking an educated guess. Jameson is using chains to hold the axle to the truck. They have to be as tight as possible to keep the axle from shifting in transit. Trike, an O'Hare veteran, shows up with a truck to haul away the trailer. But first, they have to get the axle fixed. Actually, you know, Jay, you don't have to worry about pulling it forward. She's gonna sit pretty good. Come on, Jay, pick it up! Jameson was able to secure the shifted axle. Now they need to get it hooked up to the underlift so they can tow it. Hold it right there. You drop this truck on my head, you know I'm gonna get really mad. Suck your boom in. three test. He can join Bill and Marcy as they look to drop some coin. Is this truck sold, Joe? As non-formal as it looks, we're making decisions on what we're going to do equipment-wise to run next winter with. We need to order it now to have it for winter. Bill, we'll go this way, what? down this one. We need a four car for our salvage operation because we're, we're starting to haul a lot more vehicles on a daily basis. and. But it's, 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 it's simple economics. Bill and Joey know exactly what they want, and they won't settle for anything less than the best. I want a steel bottom deck, aluminum top. And everyone tells me I'm, that's weird, but I don't see how it could be weird. Well, I need to get, a, um, I need to get one, so you, what do you got in stock? There's only one that can find me one of my notes. Uh, what I sent to you was the steel body with the aluminum top. Okay. That's how much they galvanized you want. Thousand for that? Yeah. I haven't done that in any of the other ones, have I? Nope. Yeah, skip that and give me the auto grip. Okay, you gotta um give me, give me some money. 
So far, the only thing that's actually come through for sure is we bought a four-car truck to uh, help with the, get the cars to the recycling yard. Get that going. Thank you, Bill. All right, thanks. Take care of it. All right. I want to go home. I miss the dog. I miss the kids. Uh, we, we need to get home. Coming up, Joey hears some news about his test results. Joe, I got something in the mail today. It's from TRAA. After a week in sunny Florida, Joey and Bill are back in Chicago. And Bill has just received the results of Joey's level three certification test. Joe, I got something in the mail today that you might be um, you might be interested in. What is it? It's from TRAA. Level three certification is the PhD of the towing world. And if Joey didn't pass, he won't be able to take the test again for another year. Come on, just pull it out, dude! Come on! Well, basically. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Welcome to a very elite group. It's a big deal to me, and I'm very proud of you. Bill and Marcy just said congratulations to me for my level three. And uh, it, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I'd say my dad would be proud. This is, like, way nicer than... Her. Yeah. You want to see what I got, Joe? That's what I got. This, in the That's mugshot. It. To have two level three operators in, in the same organization with the same last name, that's just cool. <laughs> I don't hug him often, but I'm very proud of it. It means a lot to me, and I'm sure my dad is, uh, is just as proud. That looked pretty good up here. Let's go to my office. I'm going to go ahead and pack up. Help Tony pack up his truck, and we'll start our paperwork and we're done. As we write the ticket all the time. It's easier to make him write it up. He's the senior driver, he taught me. So I'm his little bitch. And plus, I don't think he can write that well. His penmanship, actually, that's true. His penmanship sucks. My handwriting looks like hieroglyphics. It's a love-hate relationship. We get a lot of that around here. 